Nibs, bit. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Lilith's Attic. It's another Tarot Card Tuesday. My name is Julia Pasqua, and this week we have the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles keywords are abundance, success, enjoyment. It's a very grateful and gratitude-filled card. As you can see, there's a lavish woman in her garden. She is holding a bird, wearing a beautiful gown, and having her nine pentacles happily fully grown and prospering on the bush. I don't know why we keep trying to grow pentacles in this suit. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> she is enjoying the fruits of her labor. She is not afraid to get her hands a little dirty. Bird on her shoulder represents a guardian or a guide that helps her through to remain on the path of success or help her get there. If you pull the nine of pentacles, it means that your hard work is paying off and you are receiving the benefits of your labor. You are enjoying the life of luxury because you've put in the hard work. It's also a very independent card. If you can tell, this is a very feminine, but grounded and almost kind of masculine energy because she is standing strong on her own in her garden with nobody but her bird helping her along. She is, she's an independent woman here. I love this line from one of the books. You've created the life you've desired and now you can enjoy your success. I feel like that sentence just completely embodies what this card is about better than any words I could paraphrase it for you. If you read this card in reverse, it can mean you're depending on somebody else or that you are working too hard and not enjoying the fruits of your labor. All right, you guys, let's go make the Knight of Pentacles. Come on. Wait. <laughs> It's been a very big week in my life. For starters, I have never owned a vehicle in my life. It's been a very big deal for me. I have purchased my own truck and it feels so good to say that. It's just been a thing that I've never had a chance to in my life, I guess is the right words. And for the first time, I own my own vehicle. Just enjoying the fruits of my labor. Like I've said it before, sometimes the cards line up with what's going on with my week and this one really did. So <laughs> I fully understand being this woman, standing in this field, staring at these nine of pentacles being like, whoa, okay, I did it. I did something. These nine of pentacles are going to be nine women because this is a feminine energy card. This is that independent woman reaping the benefits of her labor. These are going to be nine women in my life who have influenced me, who are strong, who have been through getting their hands dirty in life to get to where they need to be, who inspire me, who help me, who I wouldn't be here today without. Now, some of these women are going to be fiction, not fictional women. <laughs> well, some, some fictional, some famous, uh, some personal in my life, but it's just nine women. And I know there's more, <laughs> but nine that really stick out to me right now who have helped me get to where I am today and who continue to inspire me and push me and, and help me. So I have first, I'll just list them out. I grew up in a family of women and so I have um, my aunt, my cousin, my mom, my sister, and my other aunt. <laughs> so it's five female family members here who have really been supportive in all their own different ways. My aunt and my cousin I took from a, a picture that they took while they were traveling. My mom's picture is a selfie she took on the carousel because that's where she's happiest in the world. My sister is a photo of her with her daughter that she took. And my other aunt was a picture of her at her ranch, which is her happy place. Those are the people that I know <laughs> that are in these nine of pentacles. And then I have my four, three famous women, one fictional woman. I have the girl from Easy A, Olive, <laughs> but she's also inspired by Hester Prynne from The Scarlet Letter. And The Scarlet Letter growing up for me was a very inspiring novel about a woman who held her strength no matter what she was put through. And then the more modern adaptation with Easy A was one of my favorite movies growing up. And then my three famous women who I've always held close to my heart, Marilyn Monroe growing up, she was one of my favorite people. And and not for being a sexy woman or being a famous movie star, but knowing her obstacles that she's gone through. To me, it was just really inspiring knowing this woman who is probably the biggest sex symbol of all time, a woman who has the most feminine energy in Hollywood, just had so much pain inside of her and still was able to do that. And to me, that was always so inspiring. And then we have Kesha during her rainbow, after whatever you want to call it, um, and that CD has gotten me through a lot. <laughs> that album has really inspired me at many different crossroads in my life. <laughs> There's so much strength in that album and it's one of my favorite albums of all time. 
And then the last one is Miss Frida Kahlo, who is the first woman to show pain and suffering and not just beautify woman. She just was, she was a woman. She existed as a woman. She drew as a woman and she was honest about it. And she just kicks ass. <laughs> She's just a person who also suffered, but made something beautiful out of it. And I think there's something to say about those women who go through hardships, who get their hands in the dirt and who still prevail and make something beautiful in this life. And that's my nine of pentacles, you guys. My message from me to you this week is to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You've worked hard, you continue to work hard, you are strong, you've been through a lot, your hands have been in the dirt, but look at you and look at all you've done and be proud of yourself for that because it, it takes a lot to exist and to keep existing and to get as far as you've gotten in life. So no matter how small you think it is, enjoy it and really give yourself credit for all of the work that you have done. You did it. Good for you. <laughs> I'm proud of you. But thank you all each and every week for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope that you're all doing well. Thank you each and every one of you who is here every single Tuesday. I appreciate you guys so much. Have a great week. I will be here and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye guys. You know, maybe also give a call to a strong woman in your life. You can just remember to say thank you because we're tired. <laughs>